My name is Richard Marks. I'm in the R&D group. I work on user interface technology and other projects. The R&D group has lots of different things that it does, but mostly it, it provides layers of things that the games build upon. Sometimes it's hardware, sometimes it's software. We don't actually make games, we just make things that are helpful for games. I've been at Sony for 10 years now, actually this month, and uh, I've been involved in many projects. I worked with the the physical simulation group, the voice recognition group, and I worked on the iToy and the PlayStation I, uh, and a few other projects as well. So the mission of our R&D department is officially it's to catalyze new ideas in the entertainment industry. What that really means is we try out new things before they actually become a game to see if they're kind of fun and uh, make sense to turn into a game at some point. So we create technology demonstrations and just kind of little demonstrations to prove a point or to evaluate something. Then we show those to the game developers and let them see what we've discovered and then they take it further and make it into something more. So for example, for the motion controller project we're working on now, we have so many different little iterations of it that we've tried out. Some made out of clay where we just wanted to feel the way it felt a certain way. Um, some that have like a PVC tube and a ping pong ball on the end to try to evaluate really quickly if it would work at all. And then they move on and then the engineering department gets involved and starts to make more and more uh, interesting or realistic looking hardware and then the design groups start to get involved too to make it look nicer. For iToy Play, uh, I went over to the London studio and worked with those guys on some just actually we just did different little technology pieces and they learned how all the system worked uh, pretty much as well as I understood it and so all of the knowledge I had we transferred to them and then they were able to make any kind of game they wanted to based on the camera so a lot of the things that are in iToy Play especially the um, the playroom part of it are from tech demos that we would made while I was there together so with with PS2 we started with a pretty much off-the-shelf uh, webcam kind of technology and then we made a few engineering decisions to make it for gaming and in particular the, the biggest one was we added uh, we made sure that it could do 60 frames per second because that's really important for being able to track fast motions and it gives a very fluid look on the of the video with PlayStation I we had a lot more ability to define exactly what we wanted so we made sure that the video would be uncompressed actually out of the camera again we really required that it could be 60 frames per second. This one can even go up to 120 frames per second as well. Uh, we added a microphone array with four microphones across the top here so that the, it actually can control the direction that it listens in effectively. So you could do even better noise cancellation for video chat or for voice recognition. So the way that the tracking works, this